If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the new LTDs, a special Redux announcement, as well as a new house rules that is coming tomorrow. So I'm super excited to go through all of this. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, if you guys do need coins, check out my sponsor down below. They have some of the cheapest coins, if not the cheapest coins on the internet. And with my code, you can get even more off at discount at checkout. So make sure to go check it out, guys. Now, nonetheless, we have a big announcement. The Redux, of course, is going to be something really big. It affects a lot. It affects the LTDs, the LTD market. Uh, no money spent teams who want to get a hand on like a guy like Waller who you couldn't typically get a hand on because he was too expensive But he's still the best head in the game, right? A lot of things are gonna be changed up by this But let's get into everything and let's check everything out. So first guys we have Marcus May strong safety for the Jets LTD Now this car looks pretty good 91 speed 93 overall by the way 92 excel 85 tackle 92 play rec 92 pursuit 88 man 93 zone 88 hit power now, here's the beauty, right? He could be leveled up. He could be powered up, I mean. And guys, there's a, um, a strategy card. I forget what it's called. I think like heavy hitter. If you get heavy hitter on him, or you get a man coverage one on him, he will have the zone threshold at 94. He'll have the hit power threshold or potentially the man threshold. If you can get him to the man and zone threshold with 92 speed, 93 excel. I'm pretty sure he's like six foot two as well, or at least pretty tall. Plus the play rec and the pursuit. He's gonna be one of the best safeties in the game, if not the best and highest overall. He's really good. Like I said, he may need a strat card just to change things up. If you're a guy that has all speed strat cards and you can't go ahead and go do what you got to do with that, I understand. But if you're a guy that has a spot open and you can go ahead and put it on him, he's a really good card to get to the thresholds there. Even without the threshold, he's still really good. I mean, the zone threshold is what you're really looking for. Plus, he gets the speed, excel, height, and everything else. I mean, he's good. Next, we have Rodney Hudson. This was the guy that they did tease yesterday uh, with the blurred picture. They obviously gave us May last night. 89 strength, that's good. 92 awareness is really good for a center. That's what you want for a center. 94 pass block, 93 pass block power. 93 pass block finesse, 91 run block, 91 run block power. 88 run block finesse. Now, personally, I would prefer if his run block was in the high, mid high 90s, like his, and his pass blocking was the other way around. But he does get threshold for just about everything. The only thing is his zone, his zone run blocking is going to be a little bit worse than everything else. But powered up, of course, and like I said, with another strat card or with anything that's a plus one there, he will be an all he'd be first off he's all threshold besides run block finesse but it's still good enough he's a really good center the problem with him is going to be the price that he does actually end up going for but besides that he's actually one of he's probably the best center in the game where he definitely is the best center in the game guys okay, so super exciting got to throw this in the video real quick michael vick coming 10 9 october 9th which is this saturday's legend guys we got the madden goat coming back into the game now this is really exciting for a few reasons first off it's Michael Vick. It's always exciting. Second off, he's a lefty. I hate playing with lefties, which isn't exciting. But what is exciting is this. Guys, this year, we've had guys like Daniel Di Daniel Dimes and Zach Wilson scrambling around the edge and making people miss, right? This has been the year where you could run backwards with guys like Lamar Jackson on regs and run around ends and then swerve people out. Like, literally, this is the year for Vick. The way Vick plays, like, I played online regs with Lamar Jackson and franchise and stuff, too. I can literally run... With the skateboard, I could run backwards down the field, run around ends and swerve them in the back, which you've never been able to do before, right? With quarterbacks. Michael Vick played like that in real life. Like, that's stuff that he can actually do. He gets that agility. He gets that change of direction. I assume he gets like a 90, 94 speed, 93 speed. 94, 93 speed with uh, with a skate artist. He's going to be good. He probably he won't get Gunslinger, right? But he's going to be really good. I'd have to assume he's like a 93 or 94 overall as well. Vick is coming, guys. Keep that in mind. Enjoy. Let's get back to the rest of the video. Next, guys, we have the new house rules event, which is coming tomorrow. Our house, our rules, change up the way you play with head-to-head -head house rules. This event ends on 10-12 at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. So the house rules are going to be called Super Plays. Touchdowns are worth 10 points. Interceptions are worth 3 points. Score 15 points to win. Earn 86 overall or 90 overall. And cat GG Hero. So pretty much, guys, the rewards are pretty cool. So if you don't like the Gridiron Guardians or you have enough Nat ones and you don't want any more and you, since you can't put them in sets and you don't, you're not going to use them, you can opt to get an 86 overall player, which you probably can auction or put into a set for another auctionable player. Or you can take the 90 overall end cat, which I still recommend probably taking it, even as if it's depth or whatever. But that's pretty cool. So you do get a free 90 overall Gridiron Guardian player tomorrow. That's pretty good as well. Um, 
doesn't say how many wins here. I'd assume you need about, I mean, based on that 10 wins, but that could be, it, it could be more. I mean, usually it's around 15 to 20, 25. We even had 70 one time, which was kind of crazy, but this looks like a full, uh, this one's going to be 15 points. So it's going to be a quicker game. So touchdowns are worth 10 points. So pretty much guys, if you score a touchdown, all you need to do is you can score a touchdown and get a pick, a pick six, it's over. Outros are always interesting because let's say they have like 12 points or 13 points, whatever. You can come out on offense and be like, oh, game over. I get the ball last. You throw a pick and those three points send them to 15 or 16 points and you just won for them. That's always been the interesting things are pick sixes are worth about, or they were 10 points in this game mode because of course you can go ahead. Sometimes it's worth it to go for two when you score the touchdown because you can get the extra points. You know, touchdowns are worth 10 points. So if you go for two, you're at 12, which means all you need is a pick to win, right? I'm assuming. So that's another strategy. Go for two. You probably want to go for two anyways, because if you just get 10, a pick won't win you the game. So you'd have to pretty much get like if you go for just 10, no matter what, you're going to have to score again. So I think it's more worth it to probably get the 10, then go for two if you can. I'm not sure if you can, but I think you can. Go for two, make it 12, and that means that on defense, if you just get a pick, the game ends right there, which is why it's so unique to play these types of house rules. There's different strategies to them. Like last time, there was the glitch strategy of just punting it right away, which is just stupid. But point is, there's multiple ways to win this. You kick a field goal, you get a pick, and then you if you get a field goal, and then you get a pick six, you win the game, right? It's just it's 15 points right there. It's really cool. I highly recommend you guys go ahead and play this. Oh, uh, and it does release tomorrow for your free 90 overall and cat GG hero. Next, guys, we have the Redux players. We don't know what series Redux are, but they're not going to be called series Redux anymore. They're called Redux because we no longer have series. Now, what Redux cards are, guys, is pretty much they're every, all year, guys, we get these LTD cards, right? And they go to packs. They're super limited. You no longer can get them. Some players are required. Like, if let's say you want to get the, let's say Darren Waller gets a Blitz card, right? 94 overall Blitz card. And you want to power them up. The only way to power them up is actually going ahead and getting his LTD card. But let's just say there's only two or three of them on the block. So people with deep pockets pick them up and now you can't power them up. So he has two options. They could do a power up pass, which is where like a power pass or training option, or they release Redux cards. And that's not the only reason. It's also that like, okay, so when the LTDs drop, if you have the money for them, you get to enjoy them for the first two months or month and a half by themselves. Then they release them as a Redux card, which is pretty much the LTDs get re-released into the game into packs as a commonly pulled player you know like any other player at their overall and their price is going to plummet so if you have any ltds guys their price will plummet i don't know when he said that this was exactly coming out but i do know i don't think i don't I think they're targeting it they just don't know exactly one yet but i do know this is that ltds are going to drop significantly you know the the the, the reason wallers and all those guys were a million coins was because we didn't think we were getting redux this year so we, we put value back into ltds but with us getting Redux again, that's going to kill the LTD mark because everyone's going to be like, why would I pay a million when I could just wait and get it for 300k? Because it's a Waller and them are going to go for, right? Not maybe not right away, but I would recommend if you have some LTDs, if they're still going for a high price, sell them because when these Redux, re Redux cards do drop, then by the way, cool, pretty cool yellow card art. You guys know the deal with that. When they drop, they're going to kill the LTD market. And for the rest of the year too, guys, so just know that if you pull an LTD for the rest of the year, it's not going to be as valuable as it once was because once people know there's Redux cards, like, even me, I was like, oh, I need that Waller, I need that Waller. A year ago with Series Redux, I would have never even cared about the Waller. I'd be like, I'll just wait for his Redux card, or that's a waste. I would never buy an LTD. That's what killed the LTD market last year, in the last two years, really. So, yeah, we got Nick Chubb coming. These are all the Redux cards. Now, remember, since there's no series, it's not going to be like cards just from the last series. It's going to be cards that they choose within a certain time period, right? So, Larry Sanka, Nick Chubb will be getting a, a Series Redux card. Darren Waller, which is probably the best of the bunch. We got Kevin Green, who's actually pretty good as well. We got Leonard Davis, good guard, you know, nothing special. Warren Sapp, which, but again, these guys aren't even that special, but you may, you may want Leonard Davis on your team, but you're like, I'm not paying him X amount of coins for an LTD right guard. That's stupid. Redux and Leonard Davis is like, okay, he's affordable now. Warren Sapp, Devin White, another guy's crazy good speed, hip power, block shit zone. And then guys, that's pretty much it for that. Then we got these super plays. Again, so you have some better card art looking here. I mean, better art for the house rules. Suit up and get ready to sling it. Start at the 50 yard line. Okay, so that's interesting. So they have they have a mess up here. But start off at the 50 yard line. So you start off pretty close too, guys. So quick games with the first down 25 yards out. So it's gonna be really quick games. The touchdowns worth 10 points and interceptions worth five. So that's weird. It says interceptions worth five up there. It says interceptions worth three down there. If it's worth five, guys, and that means a touchdown and a pick pretty much end the game uh instantly without even the two-point conversion. But again, that remains to be seen. Score 15 points to win. Start racking up wins to earn your 90 overall, 86 overall guardian. There's 10 activities within that. So, guys, there's going to be a lot of, there's going to be probably 10 awards or some other objective based stuff in there with coins, some uh, probably just coins, coins and uh, players. But yeah, that, I mean, that's pretty cool. Again, I don't know exactly why one says three, one says five. I mean, I would assume incompetence, but I, I'm not entirely sure. 
but that's pretty much it for that guys i mean the redux cards are really exciting for a lot of people who probably knew they could like a no money spent team love redux cards because you guys are always behind the curve a little bit obviously you can't afford to buy the players that come out today you can afford to buy them in a few weeks or a month and by the time that happens the redux cards are out and suddenly you can afford to get the best players that you wanted that you never thought you could touch like darren waller was quite literally a guy i thought was untouchable like he's been out of, he's been out of packs for a while he was really good but these guys are catching up but at the time when Darren Waller came out, I thought he'd be untouchable because of his price and because of how people value this and that. But now suddenly he will be more affordable. Again, there's tight ends coming. There have been tight ends that are more comparable. And honestly, a lot of guys are really catching up. But if you wanted Waller, you want the six foot six, you want, you know, you want all of that. He's going to be affordable pretty soon if history repeats itself like it usually does. So yeah, I would definitely uh, try to, you know, sell some of those LTs if you can still sell them high before they end up being sell lows. I, I would recommend looking into that. That's about it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, comment down below if you guys are new to the channel. Comment down below what Redux are you excited for? Who do you think got snubbed from the Redux list? Who would you have liked to have seen? Like, who's that LT that you want to see get a Redux? Yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.